recently unveiled car to see. I'm driving my Lotus Evora to Beijing Kaiser Circuit. It's about 500 kilometers round trip, so we could call it a small grand tour, right? And speaking about GT, it is the topic of today's video. First, my Evora. Despite its uh, supercar-like appearance, it's actually a very comfortable GT from my point of view. Like now, I'm driving on highway. This car is uh, surprisingly suitable for a long distance trip like this. And the car I'm about to review today called itself GT. I'm quite excited, so let's go find out. Okay, we are here. This is the one. All new Netta GT. This is actually my first time in Beijing Kaiser Circuit and of course, today our star is Neta GT. Well, what I like about this car, first, is it's a two-door coupe. Just look at it. What do you reckon? For me, a proper GT is gonna be two-door. Those new trend four-door sedans cost themselves GT. It's just simply not in the same catalog. My friend Leo brought a Beamer M4 today. Compare it to Neta GT, I mean for outside scale, it's quite close. When you walk through them, you would feel Neta GT is just slightly shorter, but wider. And you can't ignore this beauty, right? My Evora. Because of the mid-engine setup, it got a totally different proportion than this two. Would you prefer a new no, diffuser not. design? without exhaust tips or old-school cord pipes. And since we're back here, let's check out the trunk. Well, it got a decent space here. No surprises, nothing special, but it's good enough for a GT. Oh, I forgot to mention, it got two latches here. You can pull them to lay down the rear seats for more space. All right. I personally reckon the rear quarter view is the best. What do you think? <laughs> 